Today we have two guests actually. It's Michael Degen and Clemens Hauser. Both are from um, Messe Düsseldorf and both are, um, well, those who successfully run a trade show, the caravan salon, quite a few people have witnessed, have attended, but further information on this, uh, Michael and Clemens will provide later on. Um, what we discussed this moment is, uh, or before starting, is, oops, uh, what does my computer wants to do again? is that I would like to share my screen with you. Okay. Let's there we start then with this map. Yes, we will we try. Do you see the, the yeah. map? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, because for me, it's not, maybe we, I find it here, no, no. So here is the map and well, um, I'm happy to provide this link after the session. And uh, well, what this, um, re what this map shows tremendously is that Germany is not Germany. Well, Germany mm -hmm. is Germany, but we are talking about federal states and within these federal states decisions about running a trade show or do allowing events are taken separately. This uh, brings us to a situation where we do have quite a few um, misunderstandings that, well, we believe that a trade show might be allowed in Düsseldorf. So others believe Berlin or Munich were um, on the same page, but they are not. Um, decisions are taken in the uh, federal state, in the lender, and then it's broken down even to smaller uh, um, areas where you really can figure out if the, the, the um, like 50 kilometers around a, a city, you see, okay, there, there is a hotspot. So uh, we don't, uh, we are not allowed to run any um, trade shows or do larger events. And uh, another 100 kilometers away, you have the chance to run a trade show without any disturbance. And um, I would love to hand over now to Ma uh, Michael and to Clemens to explain what they did, how they managed, um, and uh, what was the outcome of the carrot runs along, which was able to run with more than 100,000 visitors, which was great to see. And we thought, Trade shows are back at this moment in Germany, but then we had to learn that there's still a little bit to go. So uh, warmly welcome Michael and Clemens and yeah, looking forward um, for your presentation. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Um, uh, inter in interestingly enough, uh, Uta, you, and, and maybe uh, most of the colleagues, you remember when we, when we have met for the last time in real life. And uh, it was the Euroshop in Düsseldorf, of course, which was the last show for us, uh, which was a uh, 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 real life trade show. And two weeks later, we, have to, we had to postpone or to cancel uh, um, almost every trade show for, for the springtime. So we were super happy then to have the caravans along at the firm, like, like the first show after Euro shop. Um, Clemens, shall I start or you will start? We, we, we made some kind of a, a small plan. Mm. Uh, if you, like I, would, if you yeah, like, I would please. like to start, but I would like to see the, the map again. Is it possible? Switch it on. Just give me a sec. Yeah. It's, uh, hopefully just two clicks away. Here we are. Yeah, very good. Okay, when you see the map, this is complete Germany, and uh, you know that the government of the complete land of Germany is sitting in Berlin. And there, the Bundeskanzler 
uh, sit together with all the uh, guys of Germany and thought about how shall they manage um, trade fairs. And uh, you know, trade fairs where a lot of people come together uh, could be the same as you have in another event, for example, a music event or a, or a party event, whatever. And what we thought is that a trade fair is not a normal event. This is, um, this is a selling um, community, a, a trade fair. And that is that what we like to tell to the government that there is a difference between a trade fair and another event, for example, a music event. During a music event, the people come together and they sit very near, they, they, they drink alcohol and they, they talk about other things. And a trade fair, that we said, what we said, that is, a, um, that is like in a shop, like in a shop community, like in a, in, a, in, a, in a shop mall, for example. The people come to sell something, to, to sit and to speak about um, uh, complicated uh, technical things or uh, whatever th the idea of the trade fair is. And with this idea that a trade fair is not a normal event, we separated the rules for the organization of trade fair and shopping uh, and, uh, and, and, and other events. Yeah, major, major events. Yes, major events. And then uh, the Bundeskanzler said, together with the other governments, in each part of Germany, the situation is another. When you see on the map, you see white flags and also blue flags. Um, the, the difference between these colors is the intensity of the COVID in this region. And we think, we thought, when there is a difference in the region about the intensity of COVID, we can also allow other other possibilities, and that is the reason why in Germany it is so experienced, so difficult to talk to the to the world how it is different in 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 regions where there are a lot of people with COVID and in regions where are not a lot of people who had COVID. And when you see Düsseldorf, it's a very small town in the west in in the in the west part of Germany, yes, exactly there. And there um, you see when you open it, that are 36.79, uh, that means the number of people who had new COVID in, in, um, in a part of 100,000 people at the last seven days is a little difficult, but this uh, factor is uh, the most important factor just in the, in the time when you are living in a region where less than 50 people have new COVID in the last seven days, then you are in a, in a, yeah, in a, in a, in a good position. When you look to the white uh, paper, for example, there, and you open that, you see there are only 8.02 when I see correctly. And when you, when you look to the blue part down under to München, you see 25.9. So, and now it is so that we are here in Dusseldorf, we thought about possibilities in which way we can organize trade shows. And that is that what we have to do, not with the government in this region, we have to do it with the city. And that is the next problem we have here in Germany, that there is a region and there is a city. And Düsseldorf has to organize the complete possibilities and the rules only with the government of the city and not with the government on the, on the, on the region. So that is a little bit complicated, but uh, also easy because the people here in the city, you know, and you can talk with them about possibilities in which way you can organize a trade for show. When we, for example, have to discuss that only with people in Berlin, they are sitting far away and they had completely other problems as we have here. Otherwise is that we have shows where a lot of people coming from Belgium, from the Netherlands and from uh, France and from uh, Luxembourg, for example, and there are other possibilities and also other situations, what means COVID. Our guests coming from all these countries and we have to look in our rules also how in which way we have to organize that they can come in our land and with their problems. And yes, with all this together, you see that it is also absolutely good that we have the possibility to organize the show exactly in depends of the problems we have here in our region, means in Dusseldorf. And um, as, we, or as we thought to organize the show Caravan, for example, 
uh, we, th we, we looked about the guests we have there for, and the caravan was a show in which a lot of people come from Belgium, from Luxembourg, from this countries, the west side from Germany, and also from Germany, but not so much from the east side of Germany. So that is a show in which uh, regional people come and uh, that gives us a possibility that we know exactly which kind of people come and how we have to manage the rules therefore. And what we have to see is also that for this show, there come people who know exactly what they do. The caravan people are people who know in which way they have to live together in a, in a, in a for example, on a, on a camping place. Uh, they, they are not, uh, either they are very interested to buy the, the caravans and not to look only therefore. And uh, for our, for our, um, as a caravan for the for the for our clients, it was so that they would like to sell the caravans there, and the visitors also are interested to sell the the these caravans. And so the the as the the possibilities to make the show were in September very very good, and that is the reason why we said okay, we do it all, and we invest also a lot of not normal things that we can uh, organize this show. And I think it could be interesting when you see now the film in which we can uh, show in which way the people saw that. Because on this film, it is, uh, you are able to see how big is the uh, distance to the caravans, how big is the uh, hall, and uh, in which way the people can walk there through. And later then we will uh, we'll tell a little bit about the hygienic th things we have to realize there so that this show can be run very secure. Protection, das Sicherheitskonzept der Messe Düsseldorf. Erfolgreich gestartet auf dem Caravansalon 2020. Durch intensive Planung und ein perfekt eingespieltes Team sind Veranstaltungen auf dem Messegelände wieder möglich. Für Aussteller und Besucher sind unsere Tore weit geöffnet. Herzlich willkommen! Moderne Lüftungstechnik und ein großzügiges Hallendesign sorgen für viel Raum zur Begegnung und für eine entspannte Atmosphäre. Digitale Lösungen und klare Regeln machen persönliche Gespräche und erfolgreiches Business wieder möglich. Mit Sicherheit und ganz natürlich. Auch im großen Rahmen. Wir freuen uns, dass der persönliche Austausch wieder im Mittelpunkt steht. Wir alle stehen dafür ein, dass Ihr Event zu einem vollen Erfolg wird. Mit Sicherheit, Power und guter Laune. Wir sind stolz darauf, mit unserem Konzept Live-Events wieder erlebbar zu machen. Für unsere Partner und unsere Gäste aus aller Welt. Protection. Back to business. Very good. We should add uh, that um, Clemens, if you, wenn du, wenn ich mal kurz da rein grätschen darf. We should add that uh, uh, for us it was most important or, or the big, is, uh, a big advantage uh, for us was the fact that uh, the uh, caravan and vehicle dealers, they were uh, allowed to sell uh, vehicles up from, from April already. So uh, we said all the time what, what, what we want to, to uh, uh, build up at the caravan salon in Düsseldorf a, a quite usual situation for the dealers, for the industry, uh, uh, and for the customers uh, uh, by saying uh, 
since April, uh, the the usual doing and and behavior uh, at the dealer's uh, place was that uh, people, families, go there uh, um, and uh, visit the the dealers and and. Uh, Go together with a with a salesperson into the car, into the vehicle, and, and check everything around. And we always said the situation at the dealer uh, site should be more or less uh, uh, comparable and more or less the same uh, at the caravan salon. So when they enter the the uh, venue at the caravan salon, most of the things should happen there they already know from, from the uh, visit at the dealer, like, like uh, the, the, the face mask uh, protection and, and the, 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 the um, um, sanitizer dispenses, uh, the, the social distancing rule. And um, that helped a lot uh, that we can, uh, that we could uh, continue with all the things the people would know from uh, not only from the dealer side, but also from from the uh, uh, from, let's say from from the supermarket visit or from from the visit uh, at IKEA, uh, that that most of the things they were used to do uh, from 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 their general life outside uh, the the uh, fairground. Uh, it was in our. Uh, our view, it, it, it should have been most um, complicated if we would start at the at the entrance section of the caravan salon. Uh, uh, if we would have uh, uh, started a huge education program for, for for our visitors to tell them all the things uh, they have to uh, look for and. Uh, uh, may, and for the first time when, when they visit the caravan salon. So it was uh, very important for us that, that all the stuff we did create for uh, uh, um, as a, as a, as a uh, hygiene concept at the caravan salon, uh, they already knew from, 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 from the, 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 yeah, the world outside. Clemens, you, you yeah. want to go into detail. Or, may, or maybe, maybe, maybe you should tell all the all the discussions we had with the exhibitors, because the exhibitors, of course, were were super cautious uh, with with their doing. They didn't know exactly how to um, how to manage and organize their uh, their their stands at the caravan salon. Yeah, when we when we like to talk about more about the details here. It was so that um, you have seen in a film that we start with our thinking exactly in the moment when the people come from the city to our fairground. You know, they use buses, they use trains, they use cars, or also here in Düsseldorf, they come by bicycle. We have to organize this way between the city and here to our fairground. That we have to do together with the, uh, you, those are the people who organize that, with the tramban driver and so on. We have to talk with them in the in the trains so that they have distances also in the trains. We have to organize the um, bringing the people from the parking places directly to the fairground so that the buses which drives the people from our parking areas to the incoming area of our fairground is so that also there the distance between the people is uh, big enough. The second point is that during caravan often families come. So and in Germany, it is so when you are living in one family, you can come as a group. You can come very near together because you live the complete day in a, in a, in a, in a house together and you can be, stay together and must not have distance between the people. And um, knowing that, it was so that we, when we talk not about only individuals, means person by person, we think in a caravan only in small groups, up to five or three people which come as a family. And these groups, we transport them to the incoming area. We bring them into the car, in our, our fairground, and then we have to registrate them. We have to know exactly who it is, and we have to know where is he living, and we have to, have to know his uh, telephone number. 
And this dates, these data are in the in the computers and in the moment when they enter to our fairground, we know exactly they are in. And from this moment on, we um, have to organize that we know every time when, where they are on the fairground and that we do uh, with a, um, with a with a scan system, we uh, we have to build also only for this show in this way that the people during the conversation on the stand when they are talking about um, the the buying of the caravans, they sit together on a table and they show then exact uh, 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 they show then their um, their ticket and uh, we scan the ticket and then we know okay at a special time they are sitting on a table on one of our uh, of our customer and talk uh, for example 10 minutes or half an hour with some people about this product and during that time they are also very near with these people who like to sell them their caravan and that we have to know so we have to build a, a very complicated uh, system but an electronic based system which the people can use without doing more to know exactly where they are and what are they doing and how often they are together with what kind of people. Because in case of a problem later after the show, we have to show the government which people have talked together so that if there is a problem and they are um, coming too near together and they had COVID, we have to reconstruct exactly where were the people and when did they talk with whom so that we can uh, reconstruct exactly all the, the the relationships between the people and that are all things we do no normally not we can also not do here in Germany because the, the government says we we cannot have so many data about the people but during the time yeah. we are in another situation and we have to do that and also to realize that another thing is sorry sorry Clement. and this process uh, of uh, uh, having the data about the people is is not specifically uh, at, at the, uh, uh, a matter for the trade show business. It originally comes from the uh, from the gastronomy, and uh, if if you enter a restaurant or a bar in Germany uh, at this this uh, time, you have to register yourself uh, not only by name and and uh, with where you live, but also uh, the. the all the people who do sit together at, at one table and and uh, and uh, the, the the people of the restaurant they have to um, they have to uh, 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 keep this information for i believe uh, about four or six weeks mm -hmm. in order that the uh, uh, that the uh, government is able in case that there is one case of covid 19 uh, out coming out of that restaurant or, or from that table, that they can they can come back to all the other people who were together with, with that person to inform simply in uh, uh, in in order to inform uh, all the other uh, persons. So when 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 the question came up in connection with the caravan salon, uh, the registration uh, due to the online ticket uh, was was easy but then the, the question came up how uh, do we have to deal this 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 fact that uh, people are sitting at the, at an exhibitor with a salesperson and they get they get a coffee or or, or or a simple glass of water and immediately the german law came and and with 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 judging and saying yeah, the, uh, there you have to differ. But it's it's not only the the uh, uh, discussion between exhibitor and visitor. Now this specific, uh, and it's only a coffee or a, a, wall, a glass of water only. That is already a a matter of a, a kind a kind of a gastronomy a gastronomical case, mm -hmm. and that made it made made it. Uh, 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 important uh, or necessary to deal it like that. Typical Germany, I, I would say. <laughs>
Another thing was the cleaning of all the contact areas, uh, points where people um, could be connected are doors, for example, or most important points are the, 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 the toilets um, and um, the tables where they sit, the chairs where they sit, and all this we have to clean more. You see in, a, in the film that we, have to all, that we have to clean also, for example, the automatic stair systems and the lift systems where the people pushed the push button to come in the first floor. So we have to show and to, to realize and to guarantee that these contact areas we have to clean all 10 minutes everywhere. You can imagine how many people we have to organize more to do that because in a normal way it is it is clean but it's not so clean in this um, uh, so, so often as we have to do it now. But that we can organize and we have also organized. The cleaning situation, therefore. Clemens uh, or Michael, um, was installation and dismantling difficult? Yeah. That, so it took it longer? Yeah. Uh, Although we have to we have to realize only one very important point. You know that here in Düsseldorf normally you can come day and night and to uh, prepare your stand. But uh, during the, this COVID-19 time, we have to know also exactly who was coming and who was here, how long and when. So we have to realize for a caravan salon also a complete registration systems for, the, for all the workers who come to build up the stand. I know that everywhere in the world that is normal, but in Germany it was not normal. In Germany, everywhere can come day and night to prepare the stand. But for the caravan and now in COVID-19 time, also these people have to register them by themselves and also to come when they come in the fairground that this would be scanned. And also when they leave this fairground, they have to scan. The stand by itself is exactly the same as in the normal condition. Uh, there are some points which we have to see now that is, for example, the, the, uh, the, the place where the restaurants are, because there you have to realize that, as uh, Michael tell, that you registrate the people who are sitting there, but the stand by itself is also, to 80% exactly the same as in a normal condition. Why I tell you with 80%? When you have a stand, build it with some different rooms, and the rooms are, did have a roof on the top, then we have to think about the climatization in this area because um, we realized a very good uh, air um, flow. Uh, hmm? Flow. Yeah, genau. A very good airflow in the stand with our climatization system. But when you have a special room and this room is not connected with the airflow in the hall, you have we have to think about filter systems in these rooms. But that is very specially and that. We have to discuss then with the people who organize the stands by itself. But if you have an open stand with open uh, roof, it is in a complete norm normal stand. And, and the stand building was um, uh, workers could work together. Do they did they have to wear masks? No, um, no, no requirements they can't. at all. Also it was so during the caravan that we said they have to use a mask, yes, but when they work very hardly, they can take away this mask. But we have seen that it is very difficult to do that uh, in a build-up time. And we saw also during the caravan that they have um, long distance between the workers. And so we said for the next show that it is not necessary that they have the mask because um, they have to hold in the distance to the other men and then they can work without a mask. Okay. What you have seen also and what we have realized also is we have people who are in the hall and um, talk about the workers, about how they work together. When we see, for example, that six or seven workers were, worked very near together, we said, please uh, take your mask. But um, when they have questions during that time, the people come also to them and said, okay, 
in which way we can work now. But normally during the build up time, the people are more than one meter 50 in distance. And so we can say, okay, they can work also without a mask. Okay. The discipline was very high. Uh, I, was, I was super astonished when, when we were walking through the halls uh, uh, in the construction period. It, it was over 90% of, of, of the workers did have a mask on and it was only, only one, two, uh, persons per hall where we had to say hey please take up take, take, take up the, the, the mask but uh, it was super surprising to me yeah. and and what uh, and, and and super funny was uh, if you if, if you would see or the, the kind of um, discussion we had in internally at Messe Düsseldorf because this 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 issue to say uh, um, uh, we do register, register all staff in the construction phase and we do register all uh, exhibitor staff uh, personally before COVID. We did spend years on this question yeah? and, and to say, ah, no, nah, it's not possible. And uh, I immediately have uh, 20 good reasons uh, against it. And now in, in, the, in the COVID time, it, it took us four days. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and immediately everything went, went, went fine and, and we could manage easily. Yeah, and, and, and that was surprising because uh, before there were so many reasons uh, who, who did say, ah, no, it's, 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 it's almost impossible to do at all. Yeah, and, and this is a, a interesting experience in, in COVID times, how fast things uh, can run. Uh, uh, when, so, yeah. What we have seen also was that, uh, you know that a lot of staff, people who worked on a stands couldn't work in the last months. And uh, they are, they come to the fairground and were very, very happy that they can work again. And they, they are much more interested that, that, that there will be no problem and they worked against the rules, they think together with us. And in, uh, in the last years we saw that people and people come and they are not so interested to build. They build and work not against according to the rules, but they are so hungry to build up and they know exactly that the situation is a special situation, that they worked according rules and they do that also. They would like to work together with us and we see they had a good and very high interest that, that nothing happens and nothing goes wrong during the time when they are there. They are very concentrated during this time. And the same we saw also to the visitors and the same we saw also by, the, by our customer. Also the, the people who stand on the, on the stand. Yeah. The biggest problem for us, and I think that's everywhere on the world the same, is that um, in, in the period when you calculated the show, often the people say, oh, shall I go to the show? Did come the visitors? Did come enough people to see my stand? And um, isn't it better to go just in this time, not to the show? And our experience do the caravan during the caravan was that this people who come and show their products are happy that they be there and this guests and visitors who come during the show they were very happy to be there and both saw that that the organization of a trade fair is possible and that is that what we have to work together with all with all who worked there on, on trade fair shows that the the mind and the, the, the idea to make a show was much higher as the idea to, sell, to say, no, I wouldn't like to go to the show. That is the point. And that is that what we have to do also day by day here in, in Messe de Cesar. Bringing me to the question, what about Medica? Because I thought after seeing the, the successful caravan salon, Yes, we will have Medica as the one and only medical show this year happening because all the others are postponed or canceled. And then I got the information that there won't be a Medica. And well, then Bovain will be there two, two days longer, two or three, two days longer. So I, I yeah, suppose. Five days. 
uh, people need to get drunk. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, um, and that is of course. I mean, when 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 we uh, fin finished uh, the caravan salon, uh, we were super happy with the uh, res result. And I can can come back to that maybe maybe in a few moments, but. Uh, um, it showed also that only 48 hours later we had to make the decision of uh, bringing up the Medicar uh, in a, a, a virtual only format. Uh, simply for that reason that uh, I, if, you, if you look to the um, uh, regional structure of the caravan salon, uh, exhibitors and visitors, it is mainly European. Yeah, uh, uh, most of uh, we have some 90% on, and more of the exhibitors at the caravan salon. They are coming from uh, from Europe and uh, even much more uh, uh, on the visitor side. Yeah, it's mainly, of course, German, uh, a lot of uh, uh, Netherlands and, and Belgium and French uh, visitors. Uh, uh, but that is the main... Um, good reason that Caravan Salon never had the uh, major task or major question to uh, that, that, that the Medica has. The Medica is the, is the strong opposite with some 80% uh, uh, on the visitor side and, and, and more than 80% on the exhibitor side of the uh, 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 internationality and also out of euro and that is um, that was a, that was the biggest factor uh, uh, at medica that uh, that very much exhibitors did say or almost everyone did say yes uh, we need the medica and we wanted to come uh, want to come but uh, we we cannot uh, have the have the vision or the perspective that uh, two months from now on, because we had to, to make the decision by the end of, uh, by the beginning of September, that two months from now on, uh, I would be able to travel from, from the US or from Australia or, or uh, from, from wherever uh, in the world to Düsseldorf. Actually, at least without going into quarantine uh, in Germany or uh, when I come back uh, to my country from Germany. And that is, that is simply the biggest issue at the moment, that it's, it's not the uh, technical uh, challenge of setting up a uh, trade show format in, in, term, uh, in times of COVID-19. We, do, we did sh show that with, with Caravan Salon. Now that the main factor is uh, a factor we cannot influence. And that is uh, simply the, 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 the ways and the opportunities of, of uh, traveling uh, around the world. And that is, that is the biggest issue. Uh, with, 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 with that in mind, we are super optimistic to have a, a boat show in January because the boat has a more or less the same structure li uh, like the caravan salon when it comes to the target groups of uh, exhibitors and visitors. Uh, more or less the same. Uh, Pro Wine is a, uh, a special issue. It is on, on the exhibitor side also uh, very uh, international, but uh, we have a, a response uh, from the exhibitors or from very many of them to say uh, yes uh, although we do not know how the, uh, the travel, travel uh, opportunities will be next year in March and it is uh, six months uh, ahead uh, but uh, we need the pro wine so badly because uh, it already was cancelled in, in March 2020 and the function of the pro wine for the industry is so important uh, because uh, uh, the, 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 the international sales of wine is there for that uh, the pro wine is, 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 a, is an important factor. So that only shows us uh, 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 one day or one week you have a, 
uh, a big success like 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 we did have uh, with Caravan so long but it doesn't uh, necessarily mean that all the other shows you you do four weeks or eight weeks later uh, will will have the same good chance uh, to, to 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 being set up um Clemens, maybe maybe a question to you. Um, do you um, well? We are all talking about hybrid formats uh, coming up now and online solutions and um, yeah, more fancy versions of Zoom meetings happening um, beside a trade show. Um, and when exhibitors are now willing to do some hybrid formats, whatever this means. How is the uh, showground in Düsseldorf prepared to a tremendous jump on the capacity needed for, for doing all these uh, streaming? Yeah, if every exhibitor would like to stream, I don't know what, um, during a trade show, I'm almost sure that the capacity is right now not uh, sufficient enough so that this would work. And are there the first projects in, in enlarging this or how, how are the perspectives from, from the venue owner's side? Um, okay, very interesting question about hybrid. Uh, mm -hmm. You know that Medica, for example, is now in complete, um, show which we which we organized on in the internet on a platform which we have built therefore and we see also that a lot of clients buy their this place we offer them but hybrid means in my in my thinking that we have a, an original show and that we have in parallel the possibility for some clients to come um, digitally to this show and the third thing is that what also, for example, Provine realized in, in Asia now, that we uh, give our customers the possibility to show their products on a show in, in Shanghai, for example, on, also on a booth which we, which we built there for them, but they stay here, also the people stay here, offer the wine there in, in, in Shanghai, but uh, via, um, in, in, in via in, 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 in computer system which uh, gives the possibility that the customer who is in Shanghai on the booth is re in reality on reality on the booth talk there with someone we, we, we buy in Shanghai therefore and this someone can give them also the wine so that he can test it directly the wine on a booth but he can talk then in parallel automatically with the people who sit in here in Europe and that is that what we like to do also in, in the other side, that we have here a booth and that we have um, computer screens and, and microphone systems. And we have, for example, Zoom between this booth and the people who are sitting there in Shanghai. But we had a booth and we have also the product here in Düsseldorf on our show. So that the client who is here, the visitor who comes to the stand, can see the product which is wine, for example, or which has, could be also other things. And the, the discussion with the, the producer of this product is also possible in directly line between this one who is on our booth and the other one who is in, in, in wherever in the world. And this could be, this is in my opinion, the complete, the, the original hybrid system, that there is a booth, that there is a product, that, that the visitor who is in this land, for example, here in Düsseldorf, can show the product and can see, feel and, and smell. And with wine, he can also drink the product, but he can then go in, in, in conversation directly with the producer who is sitting somewhere in the world. And that could be an idea, and that is, is an idea which we like to, um, uh, yeah, there, there we like to more th to give more invest in this possibility for a booth, and the capacity is no problem. The the fairground, uh, the uh, fairground is one of the best cable system place uh, somewhere. There are cables enough who can give the 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 data possibility to 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 uh, to realize conversations directly. That is that is not the problem. That we can okay, so the capacity that everybody is doing a Zoom meeting at the same time would work. 
could work, yes. Okay. Also, you know that uh, there are different possibilities. There is um, the, the mobile phone possibility, which is not very good. The capacity in the mobiles here is not every time good. Then we have wireless LAN, which is also a special thing that is also, um, the, the capacity is, is not endless, but the cable uh, possibility, the capacity of the cable connections is without end. and. Um, in, in, a, in a fair hall, also in our fair hall here in Düsseldorf, there are so many possibilities to deliver cable capacity on each booth that that, that we can realize everywhere and also in parallel around the world. That is not the problem. Okay, that's good to know because I spoke with several other um, venue owner and they see some problems when they have huge amounts of, of, um, of streaming, mm -hmm. high capacity streaming, I can give you some examples. For example, when we have big machine shows, in the last years it was so that the, the most important thing was not to show the new product. The most important things for the, for the big machinery shows was that, they, that the producer can show in which way he is able to control the machine everywhere around the world. That means they show here on our stand in which way they are able to control the machine wherever it is it was and okay. therefore they need a very good connection between our our booth or their booth and then wire cable to their production area wherever it was and uh, they show during the show in which way they can control that and uh, therefore we built a very very high capacity system cable system for connection to the complete world. That was not the problem. But the problem was also there that the people moved their normal thinking. They, they had to think about new possibilities. When I'm not able to come to Europe, for example, and I was in Asia or South America or wherever, then I must have the idea that, okay, I organize the stand there and that's what we as, a, as, a, as, as Messe Düsseldorf can do. We build the booths, we, we stand some people on the booth who, who know a little bit what, what happens there on the booth, but the people who, who stand on the booth, they sit then somewhere in the world and can talk via Zoom or via other possibilities to the final clients, and that is possible. But that is an, another thinking. Oh yeah, there will be, I think, quite a lot of changes and disruption yeah. we will yeah. witness within the next... Yeah upcoming years maybe year and uh, well yeah COVID is a kind of catalyzer, catalyzer for these these movements we were talking for years about yeah that's correct that's that what and Michael said data also. Protection. yeah also in this time we have learned that for example also this now uh, we we push on a push button and then we can talk uh, to a special thing around the world and we do that also i think two years ago we wouldn't like to do that we make an, an, an another event where the people come together but this is now change this had changed we can do that everywhere every time and it can go also great from i what i witness is that there's no chat going on no questions occurring so you are doing such a brilliant job that, that nobody has questions about. No question, um, please. In case any, any further questions are there, I can't believe that there are no on technical details. Maybe, maybe I could add something uh, if we have some two or three minutes left. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, the, the Clemens now uh, did, did talk about all the technical issues and my experience was as a, as a non-technician, uh, 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 I, I, I always felt very, very good in the hands of the colleagues uh, of the technical departments. And as, uh, it, as always in, in difficult situations, uh, you, gi you give a uh, uh, a uh, complex and difficult task to the engineer and the engineer lives up and and he, he is doing everything he can and even more to solve the problem so uh, that was the situation 
with, with the colleagues at Messe Düsseldorf. So what I want to say with that is that was a task uh, which was on the table from, right from the beginning. And it was, uh, it was good to see that, that, that the colleagues were, could deal with that uh, uh, in, uh, in any moment. What we didn't expect was uh, a strong opposition of uh, those exhibitors who uh, made uh, the decision at a, at a very early stage uh, not, to, not to attend uh, at the caravan salon. And as sometimes, uh, in, uh, not only in this industry, but if, if, if you do take the uh, decision as an exhibitor not to attend the trade show, uh, you have to argue with, 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 with your colleagues from the industry. And in this case, it was, uh, uh, and it even was uh, the market leader uh, who made this decision. And uh, the, the, the argument was, uh, we don't want to play with the, with the health of our, uh, of our colleagues and of our customers. And that was a uh, very, yeah, maybe to say unfair argument because it, it stands Messe Düsseldorf in, in a light of that we are not uh, uh, serious here at, at this point, yeah? That we do play with, with, with the health of our customers and of our exhibitors. So uh, we always had to stress uh, 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 against that to say, no, we are, we are, we are super serious in that uh, as we are uh, in, in any moment, uh, uh, you, you, um, you uh, work together with Messe Düsseldorf, you can be sure that we are super serious in everything we, we do. And, and when it comes to the health of our customer, we, we, we work 200% uh, uh, on the safe side to, uh, and, and, and so that, that, that was a, a bit, uh, unfair uh, of, of some, some people in the, in the industry. And what we also didn't expect in, in, that, uh, uh, in, in, in that kind of force was um, uh, the discussion at, uh, in social media. And uh, you, if you would look at some discussions uh, around Caravan Salon uh, in Facebook, there were so many people who uh, did a pawn uh, against uh, Messe Düsseldorf by saying, yeah, this is simply motivated by a pure, uh, 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 the, the pure uh, uh, lust of, of gaining uh, 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 money and uh, the Messe Düsseldorf is not taking up their responsibility and uh, we didn't expect that to be that strong. Uh, and I was always sure that uh, half of the people who, who were giving uh, uh, negative comments on Facebook and, and on other social media, uh, they never been to caravans so long before. But they did exactly uh, know about yeah, the Messe Düsseldorf should, should, should uh, uh, do not any uh, uh, trade show at all and they are not competent with that and they have no responsibility. And that was, that, that, that was a interesting experience because uh, it came out uh, uh, of a direction we didn't expect. But in this uh, connection, uh, I felt at, uh, at a certain moment, and, and I did say, I did tell Clemens uh, during that time, how, how important and how valuable, uh, valuable it was that uh, we at Messe Düsseldorf, we were starting, I believe Clemens, three years ago already, uh, to set up a very uh, high level, uh, very professional uh, crisis management. Uh, uh, with, with, with a crisis uh, a department with dedicated colleagues who would uh, uh, change into a role uh, uh, whenever it comes uh, to a, 
a critical crisis case at Nessa Düsseldorf. Of course, we had uh, something different in mind when, when we did set up that. And, uh, but during that training on, on, on our crisis management, it was, um, it, it became very, uh, yeah, very important to see uh, how important the, uh, everything around the uh, communication is. Because we didn't have that uh, 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 in, in, in our focus. Our focus before, whenever it came to, to crisis management was of course the technical side and how can we react on a technical basis. And we underestimated all the time uh, the, 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 the high, uh, um, um, uh, the, the, the high uh, meaning of, of, of uh, communication. So when we started uh, work, work and train on our crisis management, the, the uh, communication department became a much, much uh, bigger uh, importance for us. And uh, this importance, that did help a lot over the last uh, seven months. It, 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 it was super important to have that uh, uh, kind of quality and, and yeah, uh, uh, kind of plan in the, in the communication department. To give you an example, every question uh, that uh, uh, raised uh, in connection with COVID-19. And we started with that process uh, during the Euroshop. And uh, every question who, who uh, came up in connection with COVID uh, was, uh, uh, was uh, we, we brought into a solution, but at the same, very same moment, it, got, it, it, it went into a paper, the, the Q&A paper, uh, which uh, everyone at Messe Düsseldorf has. And meanwhile, this paper is, I, I don't know, Clemens, it's, it's about 60 pages. And you, you find there every possible question in connection with, with COVID and Messe Düsseldorf, uh, wh whatever you will. And that helped a lot, but we wouldn't have, uh, uh, have had that uh, if, if, if we didn't uh, went through this uh, process of, of, of uh, bringing this, cri this, this crisis management uh, topic on the table three years ago. That's interesting to learn and especially that, that you got, got opponent, opponents not only within exhibitors who were probably uh, unlucky that they took the decision not to come um, after hearing about visit, numbers of visitors and sales uh, output of, of uh, Caravan Salon. One other question I just got is, what about Cube and Wire this December? Yeah, we still uh, are hopeful uh, that, that we can make it. Yeah. It just, uh, crossed. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and and uh, we all we always do say uh, we have to be the ones who uh, uh, believe uh, for the longest uh, in uh, organizing uh, all shows we do. If if we were the first who had doubts in in that, we 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 were we weren't uh, 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 we were in the wrong position. Yeah, and and and. Uh, of course, you always have this uh, situation, and even at Caravans along, we did have. Where, uh, uh, last week, somebody did ask me, uh, uh, at what time uh, have you been sure that the Caravans along will uh, uh, take part? And I said 24 hours before, because uh, you always, in, in these days, you always have the situation where some situation in the region or in Düsseldorf or in Germany can happen, uh, uh, which, uh, uh, which everything then changed, yeah, uh, changes. And, and, and then uh, all the work we, we do over weeks, over months is, 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 is old and, and we have a new situation. And, it, and, it, and as I said, uh, about the, the, about the uh, 
De horecondnemer zorgt ervoor dat het product op voorraad staat. Daarna zien we de horecondnemers influencer. Dit heeft een enorm groot groep mensen die kan bereiken. I believe that's a Dutch colleague. Um, and uh, as, 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 as I said be, be before, um, what did I say? Um, I forgot. <laughs> No, I remember it, 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 was, it was, of course, the opportunity to travel. Yeah, no one knows, but we are optimistic that uh, uh, within Europe, it, it is possible over the next months uh, and, and maybe, 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 maybe come back uh, uh, to that. Uh, 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 an institution who is uh, very important and valuable for us, for us is, is the German Alma, because uh, uh, it, it is, uh, there, uh, uh, or they, they made a, a very fantastic job uh, in the springtime when, uh, as Clement said, uh, when it came to the, to the main question of the, um, of differing between trade shows and major events, yeah? Because during April and May, everyone was, was bringing that into one basket to say, uh, yes, of course, trade show, Trade shows are, are the same like Oktoberfest or or if uh, or Rock am Ring or Wacken Open Air, and, uh, and so every everything was was in one basket, and it was uh, very important to have some somebody on the political stage in Berlin to talk to all uh, the political decision makers uh, to differ between trade show and and all the other major events. So during that period, it, it was uh, their uh, uh, most and, and only effort uh, to work on, on that question. And um, at this moment, the, the, the most, and, 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 uh, most important and only effort is to uh, uh, talk uh, to the uh, political decision makers in, uh, in order to differ all, all the, the uh, travels, uh, uh, to differ between uh, touristical uh, and business travel. And that, that, is, that is, I believe, the, 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 the main question for the next months for the entire industry, industry. and not only limited uh, for, on Germany or Europe, but worldwide. That we are able, or that we can differ between somebody who wants to uh, travel from the where, wheresoever, from the U.S. to Germany in order to make a holiday here, or somebody who wants to travel from the U.S. in order to visit a trade show, and and in this uh, we have uh, one picture in mind and one one goal in mind is uh, only to set up a, a situation where it is po possible and it, it's not to say easy, that, that might be the wrong uh, uh, impre uh, expression for that, but to say you enter the country uh, with, with a negative uh, test result, uh, which you did 48 hours ago in your home country. Then you enter Germany and you go uh, to a second test. Uh, and then you go into a 24 hours, maybe 48 hour quarantine in, our, in, in your hotel. And if the second test is all also negative, then you are allowed to enter the fairground. So, and, and if we come to a situation like this, then it's possible for exhibitors and for visitors as well uh, to, to go to trade shows in Germany, in Europe and, and worldwide. And, and I believe that is, that is the essential, the crucial question we have to deal uh, with uh, over the next months. And, and it's, it's good for that discussion that everyone agrees uh, 
uh, I believe in Germany as well as everywhere else in the world, that anyone, everyone agrees uh, that we have to prevent a general uh, lockdown. Yeah, I believe that was that was the worst thing in 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 the springtime, where 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 there was a general lockdown in Germany. When uh, now uh, the learning from from that time uh, was uh, that yes, it it will be necessary uh, uh, over the next months to have lockdowns as well, but we we have to limit it uh, limit that. In, in on on on, uh, on regions and not to have a, a, a general lockdown over over entire Germany or entire Europe. Yeah, thanks uh, for this broad and deep information from your side. Um, I hope that we will have the first uh, or the, the, the next um, physical meeting, not at uh, Euroshop in three years or two and a half years time, but before. Um, and I can just imagine how I would have felt if somebody would have told me one week ahead of Euroshop, there is no Euroshop, I would have been probably, well, no, let's call it not amused. <laughs> Uh, not to say anything more drastic and uh, yeah it was a pleasure